June 5, 1995, turned out to be a big day in the history of physics. They had finally made what Einstein had predicted 70 years before, a Bose-Einstein condensate. Our first reaction was, wait, we got to be careful here, you know. We, let's think of all the different knobs we can turn, checks we can make, and so on, to see if this really is uh, Bose-Einstein condensation. The condensate is sort of like a vampire. If the sunlight even once falls on it, it's dead. And so uh, it, it's, its realm is the realm of the dark. But we can take pictures of them because we strobe the laser light really fast, and uh, even as the condensate's dying, it casts a shadow, and the shadow is frozen in, in, the, in the film. Wyman and Cornell created the first Bose-Einstein condensate in a cloud of just 3,000 atoms of rubidium, the first in the universe, as far as we know. They had reached a temperature of 170 billionth of a degree above absolute zero. Within weeks of the Boulder Group's success, Wolfgang Ketterle produced an even larger condensate from 10 million sodium atoms. At last, quantum mechanics was more than just theoretical mumbo-jumbo. It was something that could be seen with the naked eye.